And now, ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Tremendous and Sarah Owens sticking it to you. <laughs> Once again, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Johnny Tremendous and Sari Owens, and sticking it to you.
I'm just a Broadway baby walking off my tired feet that killing me pounding 42nd Street to be in a show a Broadway baby a learning how to sing and dance step shop for kick waiting for my one big chance to be in a show ah, gee I'd really like to be get this on some marquee it's a big word for me all to winkle in lights a spark that's me to pierce the dark oh gosh from Battery Park all the way right up to Washington Heights and someday maybe all oh, my tremendous dreams they'll be repaid I doubt it but who knows oh heck I'd even play the maid I've got the outfit home to be in a You are a producer, right? Why else would I waste my time talking to you? I guess I'm talking to you, sir. Listen up, put the drink down. I don't need a lot. Only what I got, which ain't a lot. And a tube of grease paint and a follow spot. And someday, maybe, oh, if I stick it long enough. Get to strut my stuff. Oh, work it for a nice man, like a zinc bell, or a white man in a big time around way. Even good to not see some of you. No, <laughs> welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to sticking it to you. And you know what? We should just talk about a little bit how Sari came to be on the stage with lovely Johnny Tremendous. It's true. It's a lovely little story. <laughs> it is. We met right here on this stage about oh two years ago. Yeah. Singing of all things karaoke. Can you believe it? I this one's in karaoke. I don't know. I don't know. He's a karaoke star around town. I don't know if you know this, but you really have a following, don't you? Do I really? Yeah. I can't believe it. <laughs> anyway, so we met here, and then we developed this lovely friendship. And I said, hey. We need big tits and a nice beaver on the stage. So, and I certainly don't have it, so how would you like to do it? And I said, sure. Because she's easy and cheap, just like me. So it works out it's well. It's a perfect relationship, really. Perfect relationship. But you know what? In addition to our dreams of being on Broadway, <laughs> which will never happen stars. for me, No, I'm it'll sure. happen. Do you think? We'll write the show. Like we'll I, write I it. wanted to be a child star, but I don't think that's going to happen. I, think I'm just, <laughs> I just missed it by a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know, but you know. We have to have real jobs, because let's have face real it. Jobs. And we love our real jobs, don't we? Do. We? we do, we do. I work here at the duplex. Uh -huh. Fancy yeah. that. She fancies that. Yeah. And, um, and I work at a company called Burner Chronic and Val Carcel. <laughs> wow, sticking it to you. And I think this phone here is a. This is almost like the phone. I'm the front desk girl. <laughs> Receptionist, assistant, crowd pleaser. And this is just like the call coming in. Ooh, just like the phone I had at work. And it rings about this long, too. Gerner Chronic and Val Carcel. I could say GKB Architects, but it just doesn't sound right. This is so more sing-songy. Gerner Chronic and Val Carcel. And the calls are usually pretty stupid. 
Like, <laughs> they'll actually want me to put them through to somebody. Yeah. Like, um, hi, can I please speak to Mr. Smith? Oh, sure. Is he in the office? Um, uh, let me check. And all I have to do to check is really like look around because we're in one big room. <laughs> but I really don't because I'm usually busy sending out a personal email or something. <laughs> or Xeroxing songs for the show. <laughs> Did I say that? That's terrible. But who has a Xerox machine at home? Probably some of my friends. I don't know. <laughs> and so, you know, I put them on hold and then I sort of do some personal things and then I pick it up and go, no, I don't think they're here. Even they could be sitting right at their desk. And I put them into voicemail. And some people actually want to give me the message to give to them. And I think, how stupid is that? I have to write it down. I have to remember it. Too much work. It's too much work. Yeah. And you know, but I remember actually, I do actually love my job. I have fun going in. I, he tells me all the time. All the I time. Know you do. But the worst thing is actually going on job interviews. Because I remember knowing all these interviews, and they ask you questions like, so where do you see yourself in the next five years? <laughs> and Who the hell knows that? Who knows I hate that? that crap. And it's like, well, probably, if you give me this job, still working here and loving it. Yeah. Um, but it's like, I don't know, they ask you all sorts of things like, um, oh, can you multitask? <laughs> and it's like, not really. Well, no, I mean, you can play solitaire and you can. answer the phone at the same no, time. Well, and that's... Oprah would be proud. She is Oprah. the biggest fan of multitasking. She's the biggest She's really an advocate. I'll tell you. But she just, <laughs> no, but basically I would say, no, I could just do one thing at a time. It's probably personal, so if you do have something to give me, don't really bother me. Just put it on my desk with a note, and I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> Not really. I'm a crowd wizard. <laughs> but I would say that's it for the job segment. Do you want to hang up the phone? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Yes, I'll put you through right now. <laughs> Hold on a second. Thank you, Sari Lingus. Uh, Did you want to hear sure. that one more time? Seven ninety nine at Value City. Hey, Value City. I took it out of the hands of a little Spanish girl. <laughs> <laughs> she was in line in front of me, and I said, that phone is great. And then her father didn't really want her to get it. I said, yes. So I said, I'll take it. Thank you, because it was the only one left. Perfect. That's the way to really get in there and take from get a five-year-old. Get in there and take yeah. from a five-year-old. That's the way I like. I know. That's but, what I like about you. But we actually, individually, not really together, but we did have porn careers, you know? And um, we did sort of like Disney porn. Right. You're not proud of I'm very well, proud of my porn kind career. Of keep it in the file <laughs> if anyone cabinet, would want to see this naked, it's just unbelievable. <laughs> but maybe it was like on a Zoom lens or something. I don't right. know. But we did like a Disney trilogy of like um, Rumpel Foreskin. Right. <laughs> Hump Me Dump Me. Now that one was fun. Aladdin's Lump that was great. One, yeah. Aladdin's Lump was big overseas. The huge. Huge. They, huge. Yeah. They really, it's like um, when, uh, what's his name, um, who's big in Germany, David Hasselhoff, when he goes oh, to Germany, yeah. that's what we were like overseas. I mean, they said, Johnny and Siri, it's you, and we're like, yeah. But you I can tell. Us and she clothes. actually had a tap dancing, and picture her tap dancing naked up a flight of stairs, just like Shirley Temple did. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> I and played girls. the black butler, I'm sorry, Afro-American. Right. Yeah. Or TC. And, um, but actually, we're going to recreate a scene, and it only takes about 10 seconds, so if you're bored, it won't last that long. <laughs> From one of our really biggest hits that some of you probably have in your collection. You probably already know. Right? We're just bringing this down. Genital right? Hospital. Right. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Doctor, doctor! The man in the other room is hemorrhaging. What do I do? He's going to die. Take off your blast, nurse, nurse, and let me check it out. What? I don't know, but there'll be one stiff in this room at any rate. That's about it. <laughs> and who says porn dialogue is stupid? Really? No. Just porn stars. Just no, porn no. stars. But I think that now we should sing. We're going to share. We're going to sing a song, right? We're going to share. Well, Sari's going to sing a song. Then I'm going to sing a song. No, then we're going to sing it together. Sing. Hopefully you'll sing at some point too. Oh, that means I have to, pardon the expression. Grab your stool. Grab my stool. Don't want me grabbing your stool. Let me tell you. Somebody should. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank God I can sit again. Bring it down. I hope I don't. You're right at cooter angle right here, so I hope I don't flash you. <laughs> you know, just thank look God the I'm other not. way. I don't know. <laughs> look the other way. Pretend I'm at cleavage angle. Yeah, it's lovely. I don't know what I'll you're looking at. Like this. I'm like a tablecloth. It's amazing the way he starts with his village. You're like a tablecloth in Paris. Oh, this is very serious. Yeah, right? lovely.